happening in our life, Jesus is Lord and all shall be well. And if you would like to have prayer during this holiday season, you dial 461-8148. I'm Bonnie Libhart, and Emily is not here. She could not get off work today, and she's at her job that makes it possible her, for her to volunteer at Victory Network and help us with Vision Plus. But along with me today on this marvelous holiday season is most important people in my life almost, and that's my grandson David and Ashley, my granddaughter, and Laura, my daughter-in-law, Anthony's wife, and we are so happy that you're here. We're going to hear the Christmas story, and we're going to hear Jesus Loves Me, and we're going to hear maybe a visit from uh, another person, but if Ashley uh, allows us to, she gets to stay on the show for a while, but we're going to start out with David, who goes to preschool at Valley Fellowship School, sing Jesus Loves Me. So, J David, anytime you're ready, you ready to start singing? Yeah. Okay, hold the microphone up and start. Okay. Jesus loves me this I know. I mean, I forgot. You're doing very well. Go right ahead. Jesus loves me this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Well, that's very well, and you had a, a background music there of Ashley helping you out. You got to teach her to to uh, I sing. Song too. Oh, what is the other song? The B-I-B-L-E? No, God's not God. Okay, go ahead. Okay, God's not listening to me. Well, well, I don't think I heard it. God's not there. Oh, well. No, he is alive. That's good. God's not dead. No, he is alive. I feel it all over me. God's not dead. No, he is alive. I feel it all over me. That's all the stuff. That's is. wonderful. I think that's terrific. And one of these days, Ashley will learn to sing with you. Of course, she doesn't talk yet. She just says, hey, Mommy. I got another song. What is that? Sing Oh, Hallelujah. Okay. Sing Oh, How I Love Jesus. Because I think Ashley's going to have to leave and uh, go oh, home. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how Right, and Mary and Joseph. And where was the baby? Lying in a manger. Lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they and made known abroad the thing which was uh, told to them about the child. And all they that heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they'd heard and seen as it was told unto them. You can do it in this microphone. Well, I have a microphone that but I use myself. And see, Jesus was born. It? You know, when you remember how that happened? What? They went down to pay their taxes. Mary and Joseph did. Yeah. And when they got to the place to Bethlehem where they were going, they knocked on the door and, and the guy said, no, no room. That's right. No room for them in the inn, or we might call it a hotel or motel today. No. But there wasn't any room because there were so many people that came. That's all right. You stay right here. It's, it's okay. Uh, Ashley is just being Ashley. And that's when you're 19 months old. That's the way you are sometimes. You have to explore the whole world. David, you know what happened when there was no room for them? The man who was the innkeeper, or the hotel or motel keeper, we would call him, the manager said, I'm so sorry. I wish there was a place for you, but since there's not, he said, oh, I have a, some space. At the manger. That's right, in the stable with the horses and the cattle because it was warm there. Yeah. They wouldn't be out in the cold because it's really cold right now if we had to be outside, isn't it? But a lot of boys and girls may not have a warm home like we do, but Gee, but there's a, we need to give them money and help them when they don't have to, isn't that right? But the innkeeper said, all right, we, we will let you stay out in the 
manger. Ma yeah, in the, uh, where the horses and the cattle are. And that night was when Mary and Joseph knew it was time for the baby Jesus to be born. Me and Ashley was playing that, and I was Joseph and Ashley was Mary. That's good. And then the baby was born, and the baby was born, and they yeah. were they were so proud of the baby, and they yeah. wrapped the baby up in some swaddling clothes or some clothes that they use at birth time, Maybe and they, they covered him up with blankets. That's right, and laid him in a manger, and he was warm and happy and smiling. Yeah, they laid him in hay. That's and right. There was no and you know what happened? Three wise men came to see him. Yeah, that's the song that we sing, Three Wise Men. That's right. The three, uh, three wise men came. They had been following the star in the east. Oh, they followed for many days. And they were asking different people. They asked the king. And that's what we played at a school. That's right. Valley Fellowship. Mm -hmm. That was in your play, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. And also in the music isn't it? And so when the three wise men came there, you know what happened then? They gave them gold and frankincense and myrrh. Gold and frankincense, they had enough money and they, they stayed there for them. That's okay if they don't celebrate Christmas because it's all right if they do or if they don't. It's all right. Now I know that we have a Christmas tree this all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving an odd up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle then i heard him explain ere that he drove out of sight happy christmas to all and to all a good night and see these are all about the bears. See, it's just a pretend story about yeah. bears yeah. and elves and Santa Claus. But sometimes it's, re it's fun to read those as long as we remember that they're just pretend elves and pretend hey. bears. They're not hey. real because the real story is out of the Bible, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, David? My grandmother. Hold the microphone to your mouth. You're going to talk. Oh. Hey, grandmother. Yes. I got more songs this Well, what is this song? Okay, it's, it says, Jesus loves the same. Jesus loves the children. That's it. Oh. That's the song. Chil Jesus loves the little children. Not, that's not it. Oh, that's not it? Uh-huh. I'll well, But he it. does love all the children of the world, but red I'll and yellow, black and white. You. But I'll tell you. I'll oh, see. here came Ashley to visit us again. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is it Jesus. you were going to tell Mommy and Daddy? But uh, uh, but maybe your daddy will help you do that. Well, David, I want to yes, thank you. Yes, what else you. I'm going to get from my dad? What? I'm going to get my dad um, some new tools for him. Oh, new tools for him. That's a good thing. Well, And I'm going to get him him. A coffee table. Oh, a coffee table. That's a very and interesting I'm gift. Give him well, I think that's enough gifts. Give we don't want to tell all your secrets, do you? Let's keep some of the secrets till after Christmas. How's that sound? And then I'm going to give him some. A big hug. How about that? No, don't you know what I was going to Well, let's don't tell it on television. Okay, thank you very much, David, for coming to be with me on television and for your singing a cappella. And we want you to come back again sometime when you get maybe your own little band together. Okay. And then you invite some of your friends from uh, from preschool at Valley Fellowship and get a okay. group of them together that could sing. Okay. Uh, that would be very nice. And remember that Jesus came so he could grow up and he died on the cross to save us from our sins okay. so that we could live in heaven with him. And uh, also that we got to keep this separate from fiction stories of, like towards the night before hey, Christmas. Okay. Well, you can't. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to tell uh, all the I secrets. Let's just wait until later. We want each one of you to have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Yep, we do. If you would like to have a prayer about anything. I know this is a very difficult time Guess during this holi holiday season. Guess what else I'm going to give my dad? Okay. 
uh, you dial 461-8148 here at Victory Network. And any of you that haven't bought your tickets for the New Year's Eve, by all means, do buy those tickets for New Year's Eve. And uh, David, you're, come back and stay with me till we're ready to leave. And we want you to have a blessed holiday season. I'm Bonnie Libhart along with David Libhart. Bless your heart for watching. I'm going to hold the mic for a